what's up? Big Herc 916, positivity, motivation, never settle for average. You know how we do it over here. Go to BigHerc916.com, pick up some merch, grab my new autobiography, and um, read about my life story. You know, one thing I really dislike about social media is how it's divided us. It has people interacting in a way that is unproductive to growth and to elevation of consciousness. And it's basically purposely by design. And when you get to the bottom of it, we all want to just live a good life and be happy. We want to be able to put a roof over our head, provide for our families, have have a decent income, and not be burdened with overtaxation, inflation, being told what to do. I don't want anybody telling me what to do. That's not to say that I, I don't understand that there's rules in life, because there's rules. You don't violate people, you don't steal from people, you don't hurt other people. So you have to respect that. But other than that, man, look, if I want to uh, choose to treat my body however I want to treat it, as far as if you want to eat whatever you want to eat and be a, be a lard ass, if you want to starve yourself and be hella skinny, if you want to eat healthy and be buff, if you want to put a piercing in your lip and your nose, if you want to uh, change your hair color. That's your business, man. Just leave me out of it. And don't make me have to agree with what you do. I don't have to agree with what your lifestyle or what your beliefs are. You don't have to agree with mine. We don't even have to interact. But I have the right to my life, just like you have the right to your life. But these things should not be superimposed on one another. That's why we can block people. That's why we can swipe left, swipe right, whatever the case may be. We don't have to listen to your shit. You don't have to listen to my shit. That's a choice. But when you try to force it, when you try to force me to want to believe in what you believe in, feel you're more victimized than I am, or this person's more a victim than me, or I'm more a victim than you. Look, man, everybody's been some sense of victimization. I don't want to hear it. You're no more of a victim than the next person. You don't deserve any special treatment because you claim a certain... Uh, 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 status or whatever the case may be. You're just like everybody else, man. You're not special. Now, the fact that you're alive, you're special in God's eyes, but you're no more special than the next person. You don't deserve any special treatment. You respect the next person that respect you. But all this divide is about us not looking at the big picture. The big picture is control. They want to control own nothing and be happy. Klaus Schwab. Who the hell is this dude? Who is he to say that what everybody, what, what it makes this guy an authority? He's not my God. I don't give a damn about whatever meetings, forums they have. I don't, it's not my life, man. Just let me live my life. Let people live their life. That's why I stopped focusing on what the other person's doing. I got to worry about what I can control and my wife and how I can provide for my household. But all this divide, you know, and when people started getting together, they, they brought up the whole the whole trans stuff in the schools and, and, and the 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 uh, cross dressing in the classroom. I mean, what what when did this come into play? Twenty years ago, you would never thought about it, but everybody was getting together. They had to file another divide. You know, first it was uh, Christian Muslim, then it was uh, you know uh, what race? Okay, then what hood? Okay, what set? What city? Oh, what 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 do you vote? Do you vote Democratic or Republican? Um, what color you claim? What is your sex? You, you male or female? You in between? Okay, well that didn't work. Well, what about this? Uh, let's get into these people were racist. They enslaved these people. These people enslaved that people. Okay, that didn't work. Okay, let's go after the kids. Make the parents fight over the kids. Start pushing all the stuff in the schools. Kids don't know. They're they're very uh, 
amenable and they're, they, they, we can we can mold them. Let's go and pump this in there. Now they're fighting. The parents fight. I don't want to have this. I want to have this. My kids this. My kids that. What the hell is going on? Now the state's going to come in. Oh, your kid, we can do what we want with your kid. Your kid can't do this. You can't do that. Come over here. Sanctuary state. Kid can do what you want. What the hell, man? What are you talking about? It's like, God, children? I mean, go back 40, 50 years. You mean to tell me this is normal? Come on, man. Don't talk to that guy. He's black. Oh, that guy's white. Oh, this guy, he's a conservative. Oh, this guy's far left, libertarian. Look, man, if you like living in a shitty economy, then shit, man. Stick with a shitty economy. I just want to be able to make money, live a good life, not have crime in my neighborhood, crime around me, ignorant ass people, people who think it's cool to steal, people who disrespect, people who want to influence others that basically are not of the consenting age. Hey man, that's not for me. Other than that, I just want to be happy, man. Like most Americans, people who want to see America fall, people who want to, who, who are comfortable sending money all over the world, but you go to our major cities, you got people dying over the, 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 the trach and, and the fentanyl crisis. Come on, man. We're divided. We got problems right here that we need to work on. A lot of you guys need to work on self. Why are you so miserable? Do you realize that this social media thing is destroying you? It's eating you alive? You're believing all that shit. Do you think that the news is telling you the truth? They all have the same playbook. This shit is not about unity. I've seen the same. It's the same shit they do in prison. Blacks, Mexicans, whites, we do not talk. There's no interaction. Separate tables, separate TVs, separate everything. The only place we all come together is in a law library for trying to help each other. And that has to be uh, sanctioned by whoever that guy's shot caller is, unless he's a independent. The law library, that's the only place. So where's the only place on the street? It's our communities. Our communities, we can find a common ground. We don't have to agree on everything, but we can find common ground. If you are if you want to, like I said, dress a certain way, whatever, but at the end of the day, you want to be protected like I want to be protected as far as not having anybody violate you. You want to be able to make good money. You want to be able to buy gas at a reasonable price. You want to be able to buy groceries at a reasonable price. You don't want to be overtaxed. You want to make sure that your kids can have a safe environment for school. You want to make sure that there's perimeters as far as options for your kids to not be subjected to certain things. You want to be able to travel freely. You don't want somebody telling you what to do as far as your personal preferences as an adult. Doesn't that make sense? It makes sense to me. I don't, I don't want anybody telling me who I can and can't talk to. I had that in prison. What are you doing talking to that white dude? Hey man, I see you kicking with the Mexican. What are you doing hanging out with the Asian guy? <coughs> Same bullshit on the street. What are you doing over there? What are they talking about? Who is this person doing this? Why are they getting together? They're gathering. Come on, man. Social media is destroying us. And they use it to make us go at each other's throat. When if we just stopped and talked about some shit, we could work it out. It's a respect thing. Don't yell over me. I won't yell over you. It's a respect thing. If we can't conversate like uh, people with some kind of common sense, then we don't need to be talking. You go your way, I go my way. Maybe we can't mingle like oil and water. Keep it pushing. I can keep it pushing. You can keep it pushing. I'm cool with that too. I don't need to kick it with you. I don't need you as a friend. You don't need me as a friend. But recognize that it's bigger than the likes, follows, and subscribers. That's all I'm saying, man. Big Herc 916. I didn't start off as a bad kid. Officially, I only got one real spanking my entire life. My mom did the best a 14-year-old could do, raising me with love and instilling values that will last a lifetime. I was a straight-A student and lived to make her happy. So how did I go astray? A horrible stepdad that stole my self-worth and invoked fear turned me into a person that I struggled to overcome. From skateboarding to selling drugs, gang banging in the juvenile hall, 
I got caught the same way many young promising men get caught up. I struggled to find my identity, getting mixed up in shootouts, crime, and the adult entertainment industry. This roller coaster continued as I juggled college, hustling, and Hollywood, eventually catching a federal bank robbery case. I found redemption in prison while serving a 120 month federal sentence and came out a man on a mission. I became a social media influencer with over half a billion views on YouTube and a life coach mentoring people all over the world. This is my journey against all odds. Go to BigHurt916.com and purchase you a bar of soap, one of the books I've written, a hat, a beanie, a t-shirt, tank top, or some detail spray for your car. Go to FreshOutSeries.com and pick up a limited edition American Gangster t-shirt with our 45th president, Donald Trump, on the front. Like he said, they're not coming for him. They're coming for us. He's only in the way.